What's going on, my creative collective? Welcome to another creative process. This one is about time traveling. Super cool. So at the outset, we're just going to set the stage here. There have been a lot of books since the pandemic, you know, has sort of faded out and we're not really sure. We know it's over, sort of, but kind of. But since that time, there have been a lot of books about like future casting and futures. I'll put a couple here that I've read. Now, among them, the most important book that I have read in 2022, take this for what you will. I read about a book a day. The most important book I have read this year is this book so important why well it's there's you know there's a part of that book that is in this creative process and it's huge um you know it it is uh, based on ideas and idea generation the author uses game theory to predict potential outcomes but beyond that that it's sort of prediction machine it's more so just using creative solutions like coming up with creative solutions using game theory which is brilliant the book itself is phenomenal. Part of the reason why I'm previewing it here and showing you this is because I highly recommend reading it. Um, and this is a really interesting process for time travel, right? We think about it. We think about creative visualization, right? Because they're kind of associated, but in different ways. Creative visualization was a big deal for me, right? That was a big deal in terms of how I visualize solutions, how I visualize myself into in, into being with where I wanted to go. Things that seemed completely unfathomable, if not impossible, in my life became possible possible because of creative visualization, right? I could envision myself doing the thing, having the experience and the feeling was there. And that was the most important aspect. Time traveling in this, uh, you know, in this particular process is very similar. So we think about, you know, as creatives, I think about what makes me feel the most abundant when I'm making art or when I'm writing, when I'm, you know, out taking photos or uh, writing poetry or, you know, just writing in general, making art what feels what, what feels the most abundant the author talks about this in terms of time spaciousness and i think about it as time abundance that's when i feel the most abundant my cup overflows when i have enough time or at the very least when i feel like i have enough time time stretches out right time stretches out the author encourages us to think of you know think of things in term in tenure increments as opposed to short term right think about how think about how much more time you would have to get something done right i think about with this channel well i'll give it 10 years what <laughs> right most of the time we say oh i'll give it three years i'll give it a year i'll give it six months we think about it in such short-term increments but what becomes your priority if you're thinking in that 10-year increment how much more freedom does that just allow you to have your heart my heart at least when i ask this question it's just like a sigh of relief like oh, i can okay i've got this i can do this it makes it so that it seems possible where something might have seemed impossible before right so thinking in 10 year increments so the big question that this resolution asks is what what could you do what could you do if you had 10 years to do it what could you do if you had 10 years to do it some for some folks that might cause some anxiety right like oh 10 years is a really long time <laughs> 10 years is a really long time but it also stretches your mind to think about what's possible in 10 years. 10 years ago, I had not been to grad school. I had not come out uh, as trans. I had not transitioned. I had not done any of that kind of work um, in terms of showing other people and showing up for myself in that way by coming out, right? And again, this isn't to singularize that because not everyone's going to, but um, I, you know, I, 10 years ago, I was in a completely different place. So much can change in 10 years. So why not think in that 10 year increment, right? Because it allows you, again, it just, it breaks your heart wide open because then you're not limited by this feeling of lack of time to do something. Because sometimes we set goals and they're, they're great goals. The goals are amazing, but we restrict ourselves because we don't give ourselves the benefit of the doubt through giving ourselves enough time to complete something, time to do something and to do it well, to find these little rabbit holes, to build in rabbit holes to fall down that will take us to another place and another place and another place after that, all connected to the main thing, that main goal, that outcome that we want but we don't give ourselves enough time. So allow time to expand for yourself, right? Allow time to expand. So this time traveling process, the first one that she starts with, she starts, she says, build the scene, right? So by building the scene, where are you in your future? So who's around you? What's, what's there, right? So this is about the visualization piece. So visualize that, where are you? Where, what's going on in this, 
10 year from now version of you. So then the second point is make the rules, right? So make the rules. Now this is really interesting. And one of the things that the author emphasizes with a lot of the processes that she talks about is to, to make the to make these rules. These rules aren't to restrict us, but the rules are to how does this reality that we're creating, right, that we're thinking about through this game theory and many different exercises that she does, but how is this reality different from where we are now? How is this reality different from where I am? Those are the, the rules of this world that we're making, right? So then we go to the next step. So step number three, which is detect the opportunity. So thinking about what it is that you actually want to be there, right? So looking for the, what, what is the opportunity there for you, right? Why is it an exciting place for you to live here, even if just for a moment? Right. So thinking about the opportunity that's there for you in that. So the other point that she talks about here is to pre-feel the future, which is super cool. I love this one. Pre-feel the future. So how do you feel when you're there? How do you feel when you're there? So this is almost like breaking down the steps to visualization. And if you have not read Creative Visualization by Shakti Gawain, I, I, that too, I highly recommend. Um, that too, I definitely recommend. What I like about this is that for me, so because of you know my neurodivergence, thinking in abstracts can be really difficult. It can be difficult, and that's not to say we shouldn't do hard things. This is to say that we, you know, there needed to be a different way for me to conceptualize, uh, to see it, and to to work within a framework that helped narrow the focus for my brain, uh, so that it could, uh, you know, put its energy in a directed way. So this was a super helpful process for my neurodivergence. So I'm, I'm, you know, offering this up to you partially as a review of this book because I really, really, really hope you read it. <laughs> it was so good. When you do it in a group setting, for example, so pull this back and we'll apply it to. For example, um, if you had some kind of like staff day or something like that, instead of hiring focus group people to work with staff and talk about what they want, get staff to sit with this and actually vision and envision a 10 year, 10 year resolution. Don't do, you know, not, not in terms of this is what I hope to see, but go through these steps, like pre-feel the future, build the scene, what's different right and and do that in sort of breakaway groups and then come back i feel like you'll have a rich 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 depth of ways that organizations can move forward individuals can move forward plans for in terms of goals and performance can move forward this is not just a process that applies to you know future casting or things like that this is really something that can change a lot for individuals and organizations so i highly recommend it so this process really takes creative visualization a step further, right? So time traveling. If you haven't tried it already, I highly recommend time travel. <laughs> um, but that is your creative process for this week, time traveling. So if this resonated, give it a like and subscribe. I'd love to have you on the channel if you're not already. If you are though, thank you so much for being here, for joining me. I really appreciate you. Um, so there are other ways you can connect, but if this is where we part, I hope that wherever this finds you on the time-space continuum, morning, afternoon, or night, it finds you very, very well, my friends. Take care.